Oh my god, imagine if like I open the cardboard and like instead of strawberry watermelon, it's like a totally different flavor, like one I didn't order, like oh my god, I'd be like so totally upset. Alright, so it's your boy, and we're back with a video on the channel, and today we are here to sip on more KSI and Logan Paul juice. Because why not, right? The drink is supposed to be what, £2.50? Scalpers are selling it for £17.50? If you don't already remember, because you don't watch my channel, I already reviewed all the other flavors in a previous video. Not the Prime Energy shit, that's new shit. But the Prime Hydration, I already ranked all of that. I had at the top, the um, orange flavor, with the tropical flavor coming second. That was like my top tier. And then my middle tier was like Meta Moon, Blue Raspberry, and Ice Pop. And then my bottom tier was like Grape and Lemon and Lime. So that's how I ranked those seven flavors. This is the strawberry watermelon flavor. So we're gonna see where that lands in the tier list. If you want my prediction, I assume it's gonna be somewhere in the middle tier because the top two tier, that shit's hard to beat, right? Orange and tropical, I already like those flavors in general outside of Prime. So I kind of saw myself liking them in this tier list anyway. So we'll get into all this right now. But if you're subscribed to the channel already, please make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get 10,000 subscribers. So we're gonna unbox this thing and then we're gonna test this out. I've had it in the fridge for like two hours, so it's gonna be nice and chill. Probably thinking, why don't you just unbox it before the video started? Well, I mean, then there'll be no video, right? It'll just be like, just open the cap. So I'm gonna use this nice scalpers packaging. Just package it nice and <laughs> just put it in a bunch of cardboard, but you know, we make do, right? Okay, we all have to start from somewhere. At the end of the day, we have to start from somewhere. Oh, thank God, it's the right flavor. Oh, so <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the wrong flavor for a sec. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, yes, I've been watching KSI for like well over a decade. Logan Paul, he's alright. I watch him sometimes, like Impulsive, shit like that. Not really much his main channel though. If you can even call it his main channel, he posts more on Impulsive. Ugh. Alright. Yep, that's the strawberry watermelon, alright. Um, yeah, I'm just reading it to make sure because I hope I didn't get scared. <laughs> okay. Alright, now let's open the bubble wrap. Yeah, I can't even open some fucking bubble wrap. There's sellotape on it as well. There we go. All right, cool. So, yeah, the packaging's already a bit messed up. Thanks, scalpers. You can see that's 100% legitimate prime hydration, strawberry watermelon. You can see it's the same as the other prime bottles, like the same shit that you'd expect to see if you haven't seen any of those be unboxed. This is 25 calories, five grams of carbs, Coconut water, the same old shit, the same, there's not really much to say. Decently chilled based on my holding of the bottle, which means there's nothing left to do but taste. Or we'll open the cap and then taste. Um, all right. Mmm. That's surprisingly decent. I'm not a strawberry juice, watermelon juice kind of person, right? I mean, with ripening, the strawberry does go hard. But it's not like my go-to drink or anything like that. So when it comes to strawberry juices, I'm trying to see if I can even taste the watermelon. I taste the strawberry a lot more than the watermelon. I know what watermelon tastes like, okay? I've been eating watermelon. Not to sound racist. I'm not really racist. It's just watermelon. But like, I don't know. As a black man, I feel weird talking about the consumption of watermelon. Is that, is that is that just me? Like, I just don't like talking about it. Like, white people could be watching. Shout out to white people. This tastes solid. I'm just thinking about where I ranked all the other prime flavors to see where this would fit in. It's not being the top two. It's not being the orange and the tropical punch. Like, that's not happening. It's definitely not in the bottom tier where grape and lemon and lime are. It's definitely in the middle tier. But where in the middle tier? I don't know. I don't have the other flavors around to do a direct comparison. But I would say it's not at the bottom of the middle tier. I, don't, I, don't, I think it's probably better than Ice Pop from what I remember, because that was like the lowest thing in the middle tier. I might even prefer it to Blue Raspberry and Metam. It might be the third best flavor for me out of the now eight flavors. It might be after Orange and Tropical Punch. This might be third, because it tastes solid. It's not too, because a problem I had with a lot of those lower tier flavors is that the flavors were a bit too piercing at times, so it made me not want to drink them compared to the orange tropical punch. But this doesn't appear to be as piercing. It, it feels like it's just like it tastes sweet, but it's not overpowering, you know? And I'm not sweet too, so I love sweet shit. I'm just saying, like, 
It doesn't feel like there's something like piercing at my throat when I drink it. Which lemon and lime really felt that way. Like lemon, oh my God. This is like that flavor that, well, I don't buy any of them because they're all expensive. Like if it was actually something you could pick up at the store for like £2.50, then this would be that flavor that when I've been buying too much orange and tropical punch and those are my favorite flavors and I get a bit bored of them. I'm like, okay, let me just buy this once in a while just to like offset. So there's some variety, you know? That's kind of the flavor that I see this as being like probably the third best flavor, you know? I've had too much orange, too much triple punch. Let me get a strawberry watermelon just to spice things up a bit, you know? Like you got your favorite flavor of crisps, you got your cheese and onion, if it's like, you know, what do they call that shit, Walkers? I think I haven't bought crisps in ages. Or if it's like Doritos, it's obviously the chili heat wave, that's the favorite flavor. You had too much of that, it's like, okay, let me get a cool original. Let me get a tangy cheese, right? But it's not your favorite, it's just like that switch up, you know? Like Ben and Jerry's, like you've had too much cookie dough. So it's like, let me get the cookie dough switch up, just to spice things up a bit. Ooh, I, I'm original now, so variety, you know? That's, that's why I see this, as. it's a very solid flavor. But yeah, those of you who tried it, let me know what you guys think of this flavor, where you'd rank it in the other flavors. If you've somehow tried all of them, you probably haven't because again, £17.50 from the scalpers, so you probably haven't. But let me know how you'd rank it or let me know which flavor you have tasted and which one you do like. Or if you haven't tasted any of the flavors, then let me know if you're considering trying it when it's cheaper, whenever people stop scalping it, which will be, I don't know when, when they make a new drink. I don't know. Be a much to like, comment, subscribe, hit that. More content coming soon to the channel. But it's your boy, Ram Remulus, Ram Gang, and the map.